Hey everybody, this is a treat. I recently had a conversation with a UK defence company who specialise in non-nuclear EMP, both offensive and very much defensive warfare. And I wanted to talk to them about Cobra Mist and Rendlesham Forest and Orford Ness. Uh, they didn't want to go there. And when I pushed them on Cobra Mist as a non-nuclear EMP weapon powered by Sizewell Power Station, they cut me off and basically said that's not an aspect that they are allowed to talk about. Isn't that interesting? Their inability to want to talk about Sizewell's relationship to Cobra Mist, Rendlesham, Bordsey and Martlesham, I think is quite revealing. So today, let's dive into Sizewell Nuclear Power Station, because I found some very interesting New history. So in rural Suffolk, which is on the east coast of the United Kingdom, facing the North Sea, a power station was designed to be built in 1957. In fact, it took over 10 years to be completed for a very interesting reason. Sizewell was first proposed in the late 1950s, a time when Britain was racing to harness nuclear energy, but the chosen site in rural Suffolk raised eyebrows. What made this site so hazardous? Nestling along the North Sea, it was vulnerable to flooding, a recent North Sea flood tide covered parts of Essex and Suffolk, killing many people. The soft gravel beneath Suffolk posed a significant risk to construction and safety. Experts warned that this wasn't just an ordinary nuclear power station. Its location was fraught with possible danger. It was originally planned to be operational after five years, but in fact it took over ten years just to stabilise this unsuitable site for a nuclear power station. And adding to all the bad things about Sizewell's location, it is over 138 miles away from the nearest super electricity grid connection run by the CEGB. That's an enormously important substation in Ilford, just east of London. And there's more. There was not even an existing rail line to the site. This isolation from industry and large population was bizarre for a facility of such magnitude. And Sizewell went beyond just being built in a rural safe place. Its location was strangely perverse. Sites such as Humber or Teesside were far better choices near steel plants or the ICI chemical facilities. Why did the British government choose such a bizarre location? The answer probably lies not just in the need for power, but in the shadows of secrecy surrounding its true purpose. The decision to build Sizewell seems heavily influenced by its proximity to Britain's military labs, such as Martlesham Heath and Bordsey. But the plot thickens. The largest planned user of this giant power station wasn't the local grid. It was probably the secret planned Cobra Mist joint US and UK experimental radio station, as they called it, right next door on Orford Ness. To make it clear, Cobra Mist was never an over-the-horizon radar system. As you saw in a previous film, link in the description, an antenna design expert identified the type of propagation system as the EMP wedge shape used by Sandia Labs to build EMP directed energy weapons. Plus the simple fact that every over-the-horizon radar has separate transmission and receiving antenna, often separated by tens of miles. Cobra Mist had none. It was a stand-alone weapon 
pointing at the Soviet Union. But to unleash its devastating energy pulses, Cobra Mist relied on every ounce of power that Sizewell could generate. Deep under Orford Ness, still secret to this day, probably lies a cable interconnect to charge up the Marx generators to fire Cobra Mist. Its true intention, blast an invading Soviet army back into the Stone Age if they ventured beyond their Iron Curtain. So what is the true legacy of our planet's largest nuclear power station? Was it merely to provide UK energy too cheap to meter for homes and industries? Or was it part of a broader military strategy? The intertwining of civil and military uses raises questions about the ethical implications of such power. Sizewell A nuclear reactor stands not only as a testament to brilliant nuclear engineering, but also as a symbol of the darker side of national defense. Today, Sizewell C is planned on the same site. Cobra Mist is decommissioned, but novel weapon systems are still being designed in Suffolk, a hotbed of military engineering possibly the true users of Sizewell's massive power. Thank you for joining me on a journey through Sizewell's history. If you found this video interesting, or at least controversial, please like and subscribe. And a big shout out to NordVPN, who are actually sponsoring this channel, to keep these films free for you by helping me pay to make them. Please show NordVPN your appreciation for watching these films for nothing. If you don't have a decent VPN to protect your computer, use this link and sign up today with a massive discount. Because the truth is out there.